Hi YouTube! This week I will be talking about what SEO and SEM are and how they relate to web analytics. Alright, so if you watched my vlog last week, I discussed about what a web analyst actually does and how I explain to people um, what I do for a living. And usually uh, the next most often question asked after I tell them that I'm a web analyst is, oh, do you do SEO? Uh, so that tends to be a very frequent question and I figured that would make a good uh, topic for my second vlog. So, first of all, as I mentioned in the intro, um, I'm going to talk about SEO and SEM and what they mean. First of all, the acronym stands for Search Engine Optimization or Search Engine Marketing. The big difference between the two of them is that with search engine optimization, you're trying to increase your ranking on a search engine as well as drive more traffic to a website naturally. So you're not paying the search engine company to um, get your uh, links to your website up on the first page. Uh, that's what search engine marketing is. With search engine marketing, you actually will pay for a keyword. So let's say you want people to find your website when searching for the word analytics. So you can, with search engine marketing, go through something like Google AdWords and actually pay them money um, to try and display links to your website when people search for analytics. With search engine optimization, the goal is to get on the first page in the natural uh, results section, not in the advertising section, and uh, to try and get that on the first page. Now, with the word analytics, that's going to be a tough, uh, tough one to do because uh, there are a lot of, of companies out there that are kind of vying for that space on the first page. And, of course, with other things like, let's say, consumer cameras, like a web camera, or something uh, even more popular than that, where you have millions of results when you search on Google, well, getting on that first page can be very difficult. So that's where things like search engine optimization, search engine marketing, or for short, SEO, SEM, will come into play. And that's what, um, there's people out there who specialize in those two areas, uh, SEO in particular. Um, I do not do SEO. Um, I will work on SEM campaigns for my clients um, if requested. But with search engine optimization, uh, it's a different skill set. Um, it's definitely a related field to web analytics. Uh, search engine optimization or SEO experts will use web analytics tools. Uh, they can use the tools to see which keywords are coming into the site, you know, and, and how the entire search traffic, the natural search traffic is coming into the site and where it's going and how to best optimize both the website itself to help drive more traffic from the search engine in order to determine what the best keywords are to focus on when trying to drive more traffic from the search engines, etc. Uh, one of the, uh, you know, simple explanations of the difference between, let's say, SEO and web analytics in general, or just in, in SEO and SEM and web analytics, is the fact that the, the, the search engine part, the goal there is to drive more traffic to the website. Uh, in particular, to drive the right traffic. So having a good understanding of the site's um, the site's target audience is very critical for the, for the search engine, both optimization and marketing pieces. Uh, you have to target the right audience. If you don't, your campaign, whether you're doing it um, an, as an SEO campaign or an SEM campaign, in either case, if you're targeting the wrong audience, you're sure you can drive a lot more traffic to, your, to the site, but will you actually get the engagement that you're wanting on the website? Um, for example, I had one client who launched a microsite and they had this huge campaign and they decided to target uh, gaming and ga gambling and gaming websites. So where people go online and play uh, online slot machines or uh, things like Angry Birds or whatnot. These, these online games 
gaming websites where you can go and play these little flash games and they were targeting those websites. Now they were led to believe that these websites are frequented a lot by women and they were trying to target women. But the problem was that the website itself, it was a retirement website. It was uh, information about annuities and retirement opportunities, how to save up for retirement. And the target audience for that tends to be uh, women, well, both men and women in their 50s, uh, late 40s, early 50s, tends to be the, the good target audience. And the problem with the sites that they were targeting is that they were getting women from 18 to 80. It was a very broad range. And so they had a huge amount of traffic that came to the website with this campaign running. It was just spiked, I don't know, a thousand percent. It was just, it was just enormous jump in traffic with this campaign. But at the end of the day, the engagements actually dropped. Um, bounce rates went up to like over 90%. Um, lead conversions, because it, it was basically a lead generation website, and the lead conversions dropped to less than 1%. Um, just overall, all of the conversions, video views, everything just went down very, very badly, even though the traffic went up. And so it was just, it was just a really good example of how uh, targeting the wrong audience <laughs> will have the opposite effect of what you want. And so target audience um, for SEO and SEM are very, very critical. Of course it's critical for web analytics as well. Um, that's one area of, of commonality between the three of them where you want to make sure that you're targeting the right audience. Now target audience is more important for the search engine uh, pieces, uh, marketing and optimization, just because of the fact that they're the ones that are trying to drive the audience to the website in the first place. Once you get them there, that's where the web analytics takes over, where we then start tracking where are they going on the site, what are they doing, are they converting, um, are they not, etc. And so, as I said earlier, SEO, SEM, and web analytics are all very compatible. They're, they're complementary disciplines and there's a lot of overlap between the disciplines, but not everyone who does web analytics does search engine optimization or search engine marketing. In some cases, like me, I will do search engine marketing along with the web analytics, but I don't feel qualified to do the search engine optimization. Um, not to mention the fact that, to be perfectly honest, I really have not a lot of interest in search engine optimization. There are other people out there who love that field, and are much better at it because of that. And so I defer uh, to the SEO experts out there uh, when it comes to that because it just really isn't a forte of mine. So I hope that helps explain a little bit about what SEO, SE, SEO is, SEM, and how they relate to web analytics in general. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. If you are enjoying these vlogs, please remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, share and tell your friends. I would appreciate all the support. Thank you very much, and until next week, take care. Bye-bye.